Borneo Talk Show. I'm your host, Ashley Pan. Today we have an academician by day and a plus size voice that people look up to in the fashion scene on the weekends. So let's welcome Apple Green Luna. Hi, Ashley. Oh my God. Finally, <laughs> I, I'm here yeah. with you here in Borneo. Oh my God. I'm super, super excited. So, anyway. how are you? I'm good. I'm happy. Come on, I'm coaching. Yes. I'm always coaching in me. Born and bred. <laughs> yes, Borneo is always going to be in me yes. forever. Wherever you are. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's true. I'm always curious. Yeah. Why Apple Green Luna? Why it's Apple such Green a Luna? Name. Okay, the story was back then. My friend, they addressed me as Nicole. I need to self brand myself. Mm. And then my friend said, Why Don? You, you, you give your own nickname, baby. I said, I'm not going to let everyone baby. call me baby all the time. I was like, let me think first. So when I reach home, I watch this E News, <laughs> Gwyneth Petro, oh. the first born. She named her baby as Apple. Oh. So I told my best friend Abby, I said, why not Apple? What Apple you want to be then? <laughs> Apple Red is too romantic. Why don't I just be something like me, sour and a lot of personality? Mm. Apple Green. And Luna was my late grandfather's name. Oh, yeah, so, nice. so it's Apple Green Luna. So Luna is the identity of my real yeah. name. So I combine it with my social media name. So there it goes, AGL. I love that. <laughs> yes, AGL. I love that. Yes, that's so that's nice. the story. Original, like you. Is that, oh, thank yeah. you. And you have your sentimental way, your roots. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think that's so important that everyone needs to have, always go back to their roots. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> So I think a lot of people don't know that you're actually in, like, in academia, Yes. right? Maybe you can share a little bit more about that. Yeah, um, remarks this year, mm. 2021, this is my 10 years as a lecturer. 10 years? Yeah, 10 wow. years. And I must say that it feels like it's just yesterday. Mm. Until now, I always have this kind of vibe that this is my passion. Yeah. I want to always share my knowledge to all the generation. Yes, yes. I feel like that is the deeds that I can do for yeah. them. And I believe that being a lecturer is always the thing that I want. Mm. 10 years uh, in the marketing field, I have four published papers wow. in Bandung, Jakarta. Uh, I flew to, flew to Thailand, Bangkok, wow. Sydney, Australia, and New York. Mm. for my fourth published paper. Mm. So there is something like I said, okay, well done for myself. Yeah. I have to take credit for mm. myself. Exactly. It's an achievement. That yeah, exactly. Been targeting yes, to yes. Well. How about the modeling side? Modeling. Have you always dreamt to be a model? Recently, I posted a photo of mine when I was five years old. Five years old, I have that, that kind of post. My mom showed it to me, look at you. Wow, I said. And I try to recreate the photo again with my recent uh, New Year photo shoot. Yeah. I, I give me a goosebump. Mm, I think incredible. I don't know what what am I. But then there's a part of me I love modeling, and part of me my passion is about education. Mm. Why not we just combine both now? Together, right? Correct. And one more thing, I think since like we talk about you know it's good to break the norm. Yeah. Have you know juggling all these kind of different jobs, Understand. all different passions. <sighs> But how do you do it with your busy and hectic schedule? Okay, like this. Usually, my uh, routine, mm. wake up around 6, 6 a.m., out from house 6.45 to avoid traffic. KL traffic is the worst. <laughs> it <And> is. Then, <laughs> okay, then I will reach my campus, at the, my workplace around 7.30 mm. because I need to prepare myself 30 minutes for my 8 a.m. lecturing class. 8 a.m. until 10 a.m. and then um, 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. Mm. Then I have a gap for me yeah. to lunch and then 1 p.m. until 2 and then uh, 2 to 4. Wow, okay? it's and all back to back. Yes, back to back. Back to back, but I enjoy it. Okay. No complaint, but I enjoy it. Mm. And then once I'm done with my lecturing class around 5 p.m., mm. if I got an uh, event, mm. especially uh, they required me to be in a front row yeah. or VIP table, mm. so there's no much place for me to change. I would do my own makeup in my car. I have a big <gasps> car in KL. <laughs> big car in KL. I change everything inside the car. All the fabulous things that you've seen yeah. on my Instagram. 
you have to take the yeah car. from the car you have to take credit to my car yeah. so that's where the magic happened mm. that's how my life as a day until midnight then i will reach home around one or two i sleep wake up again around six the next routine rolling uh, rolling rolling again. and rolling again but you know listening from it like you're really enjoying it So yes, really for the timing. With my age now, yeah. I still have the energy, yeah. but I'm not sure what will happen when I reach 45. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay, still yeah. a while to okay, go. Okay, yeah, long <laughs> way to go. It's always young at heart. Ah, uh, yes, at correct. Age, right? Yes, correct, correct, correct. So, yeah, yeah, I love it. I love the hectic life. <laughs> You know, when we talk about modeling, the instant image that comes to our minds is always the standard size, skinny, and hourglass bodies. I've always wondered, okay, like what is the right terms to actually mention about someone? Because there's always plus size, there's curvy, and there's fat. Mm. What is okay and what is not okay? For me personally, personally, plus size is the I must say the professional term for you okay. to use in the fashion industry. Mm. When it comes to curvy, curvy is uh, to give an idea how this plus size should be seen from the perspective of your eyes. Right. Okay. okay? So when you mention about fat, mm. fat definitely no. No, right. That for me, FAT try not to say it verbally because mm. you never know what was the struggle back then. You know, like um, in terms of plus size models, yeah. how far do you think Malaysia is in that fashion scene of having plus size models? I can say that slowly we are <laughs> adapting to <laughs> that good. that diversity, <laughs> but at that phase is not enough. Mm. We don't want twenty percent; we want hundred percent because we have this younger generation mm. who are looking up, flipping all the magazine. Mm. This person look like me, mm. so I can be in that uh, magazine. Yeah. You know, that's why. Mm. Well, that's one thing that I love about Bonio Talk. <laughs> Your Bonio Talk magazine is about diversity in terms of culture, Borneo itself. So this is something the pride that I always carry next to my Thank name. You. <laughs> All the way in Kuala Lumpur. It's amazing. Exactly, yes. yes. I believe in um, that, you know, we should not exclude anyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone inclusivity. So when we have a diversity in the spread of, you know, in fashion spread. Yes. You know, we actually shout out even more of each brand. Correct. Like it's feel. You know, and, and it, it shouts out on the personality of each brand. Exactly, well. yes, correct. So I think it's, it's great to always fit everything in together. Yeah. Okay, so one thing mm. I've always wanted to learn from you. Okay. Because I'm an amateur in catwalks. So okay. I need you to teach me. You look good it. though. You look like model Thank for you. sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What yes. should we do? So maybe you can give me some pointers on how to do catwalk. Can. Shall we? Yes. yes. Can. <laughs> yes. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Yes. First, remember the moment you step out from that backstage, yeah. heading to the runway, you already have the mindset. This is the personality that I want to carry. So if the designer told you to be fierce, you have to be fierce the moment, yes. Uh, that fierce is too fierce. <laughs> the fierce is something like more like to the eyes, eyes, a little bit of pulling your first shoulder, pull out the first step. You lift up? Yes, yes. you have to. Like, there must be a something, there must be an effort. That's why people okay. say, Allah, easy, catwalk, it's just ah! a catwalk. It's not. not. It, you see how catwalk? Yeah. They exactly. walk like this, like this, like this. But we are human beings, we cannot walk like that. <laughs> yeah. So what should you do? You have to, one, two, three. Wow! Okay? Yeah. Let me see. Okay, model number one and model number two, get ready yes. to be on the runway. <laughs> okay, music on. Five, six, go! Yes. Speaking of plus size, yeah. I've always wondered, like, what are the outfits to make us look good? Good. Today, I have these three amazing designers born and met in Borneo. Yes, I love the sound of Come. 
We're here at Stirring Up Borneo's walk-in closet. <laughs> yeah. So, time to make me beautiful. Of course. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you about how to style things up when you are plus size, okay? okay. When you're talking about plus size, it's mm. about how you layering and try to hide that flows. So let me tell you how to style oh, this cardigan from Indo Borneo. So now, for light cardigan like this yeah. uh, from Indo Borneo, you can wear it for high tea yeah. or if you want to go shopping yeah. at the spring. Look at the material. And it's very light. Yes, very well. light. And it gives you that powerful kind of vibes. Now, this is the thing that is very important, okay? Mm. The, the flaws that I mentioned, with this length, it can um, hide your flaws. At this side, okay. So let's say if you like, uh, you want to be extra fashionable. What can you do is, you can put this thing. Experiment. Okay. So now it's already already look like a top. It looks different. Yeah. It looks Still, good. it looks. Uh, you feel comfortable yes. with it, correct? And another style, you can play around with this. You can tuck it in with your pants. These are the things that I love to play around with cardigan. So let me turn this into toga. Oh. Okay, here. Nice. <laughs> so these are the things you're going to do. You just pin it here. Okay. And look. Style by Apple Green. Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is for from Jessalyn. Mm. So this one is also another kaftan. In every plus size woman closet, go for kaftan. Mm. Something that is layering things like that, you see? You just need to put it in. Mm. Okay, and then you start it up. Nice. And this is kotum. And this one, if you want to go for a fine dinner. Oh. This is the thing that is so elegant. The color, if you are a plus size, right? Don't be scared of using color, soft color like this. Mm. Because usually when you are plus size, you will go for black. Yeah. Because they say like black color. can make can you look... Hide all the layers, yes, correct. Right? But then go for other color. Yeah. You know, I've always been so intrigued of how you brave the stigma of modeling. Yeah. With perfect bodies. You know, for me, like, I've always wanted to try to cut into this modeling fashion scene. Exactly. But because I'm plus size, you know, that hinders a bit of the mindset and also what can someone do to get into that industry? Because I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to get, enter this fashion industry, but they don't have connections, they don't have you know, uh, people to actually guide them, they don't have knowledge on what to do. So who can they approach? Exactly, okay, like for me, let me tell you my experience as a plus size model in KL. I was approached by this designer because he knows uh, my social media platform. Mm. So my social media gained his trust. Okay, so I was his first muse for half a HS. Back to your question, how if you want to involve, open yourself to whatever is in the market. If there's any open casting, just go for it. Yeah, go and try. Don't, right. don't be scared if you are too short or um, not the, the, ideal, uh, the, ideal the ideal size. size. Okay, just go for it. It's mm. just an open casting. Why do they put it as open casting? During my time, actually, there's mm. no one pushing me to be a model in coaching. Yeah, but that's that's amazing. So all of you out there, open casting. Open casting, <laughs> just go for it. So I yeah. heard that there was a casting. Correct. So I'm going to try out. Okay, so Please? maybe let's check it out together. Yeah. Okay. You call me the night before. Let <laughs> me tell you what you should do. The do's and the don'ts. Yeah, okay. okay. Sounds how, good. how, how? Let's check it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, ooh, stirring up Borneo Fashion, fashion Week 2021. Now that Ashley has learned how to travel for fun, okay, it's time to put your skills to test. This time, it's not going to be a catwalk only, but a photo shoot at the same time. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We have props ready for you. You each have three rounds to present your best look and best shot. Okay. Both of you will take turns where you walk on the runway for 30 seconds and strike a pose. Okay. At the end of the runway, at each round, you will change looks with that we have, our crew will evaluate you and give you a point. So you need to convince them with the best catwalk and poses to win this catwalk. Photo shoot session. Okay, Ready? let's do this.
my god, I'm so excited about this. Okay. It's meant to be, it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It is. <laughs> we have. Ah, ah, you have or not? Can you smell the victory? Uh, this is the smell of victory. Click, click. This is the Menola. You did very well, right, Ashley. Right. Come on, you did very I have well. A very good coach. Yes, thank you. You are a very good student, I must say. <laughs> I have to pass my invisible crown to you. Please wear it. So I have to like. Yeah, <laughs> let us do it together. <laughs> so, Apple. Yeah. I just want to know a little bit more about you, more in depth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, please. What Dig is, me. <laughs> do you, I'm yes. ready, I'm ready, okay. What is your type of dream guy? I want someone who are tall, muscular, good looking. But that was in my early 20s. <laughs> <laughs> so now in my, my 30s, uh, I feel like I need someone who are very responsible. Mm. A normal guy yeah. who are adorable, who are sweet. Come lah. <laughs> Man, listen up, listen carefully. No, that's, adorable, that's, yeah, adorable sweet, and, kind. And honest, I must honest. say, honest. Yeah, these are the things that I'm searching for because now and I'm at the stage of, I am searching for something mm. serious and yeah, with my previous, yeah. you know. So yeah, in, in that search, how yeah. is your dating life actually? Okay, yeah. I just had a major public breakup oh. on my social media. Everyone was... I mean, like, you know about it. Yeah, I saw um, that suddenly. <laughs> yeah, so suddenly, I didn't correct. Hear about him, but yeah. I don't know what happened. Like, what happened? I mean, like, um, it was a very. No, 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 no. The thing was, the reason why we really break up because um, he started asking money from me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he started mm. asking money. That's why I. I I need to share this with all the women out mm. there. No matter how mm. desperate your love, mm. you want to be in love, you want to be in a relationship, mm. but then in, in the early stage of relationship, if he start asking money mm. for you, he, he forced me to buy him iPhone. I almost mm. disclosed I want to buy an iPhone for oh, him. No. So it's always my thing to bring him to my best friends, right. which yeah. is AB. Mm. So these are my best friends yeah. in KL. And then you know what happened that night when he met 
uh, my best friend, he went to, he told me, baby, no, don't get offended. He said, yeah, what is it? Um, I kind of attracted to your cousin, which is my best friend. Can I just... He said that to you? Yeah. That's a no-no, man. The next day I told Abby, I said, mm. he want to sleep with you. I said, he asked for your number. Mm. And then I said, just leave the guy, I said. But everyone doesn't know about that time mm. because three days after that, it's supposed to be my birthday. Everyone mm. was hoping to see him. Mm. And the worst thing was, I get back to him, I said, let's make this for only for social media. Mm. People love seeing us, you just come. And then he said, okay. But then things happen. I always believe in karma. Mm. He admitted to hospital. What? I don't know why I laugh. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess hospital. he said karma, right? Yeah, I said karma. And then he unable to come. But on my social media, I put it as a good breakup. Yeah. But then I realized this breakup can be a learn, learning lesson it's, for it's, all the women yeah, out there. For yourself and for yes, everyone. Yes, I mean like, he's a nice guy. He didn't abuse me. Mm. But in early relationship, if any of your partner asking for money, mm. I heard about this story back then. Mm. I was the person who always consult them. Don't go for this kind yeah. of relationship. And you come and you're in I'm it. in it. And I said, no. okay, this is not easy. Yeah. So why don't I use this platform to tell everyone that no matter how desperate you are to be in love or to be in a relationship, just speak to yourself. Do you yeah. want to carry this thing to the end of your yeah. relationship? Because if it happens so early in a stage, it will, happen. It will never end. Yes, it know? will happen yes. again. Which actually I wanted to pick one of your point where you said that you just wanted to invite him for your birthday, mm. you know, just to show on social For media, social media, yeah. Right? That, I think that's so risky about social media where it's always about showing. Exactly. But what is the truth? What is that line of like, you know, because this is your relationship, exactly. right? Exactly. And it's good that you're slowly opening up yeah. to actually letting people know that even though it's social media or not, that you know, if, when it comes to relationship, what is right and what's not, there's already there's always a line. Exactly. You know, there's no like, oh, um, because he's so good in my social media, people are cheering on. I get more followers from there. I'm just gonna continue this relationship. You know. Yeah. I feel that th a lot of that I've is heard the pressure. Stories, yes, yes, correct. That people say, oh no, but you guys look so good. You are getting followers because of that. You're getting yes. the likes because oh of this. Oh my God, my right? followers was increasing because, like hell yeah. when we announced the public. Of like you guys are together. Together. Yeah. So could that also be the case where he, from there he feels that because oh he's doing this for you yeah. he thinks he can ask money for exactly that, oh my know? god actually you right? are so spot on that's <laughs> what that's what it is correct yeah. the moment I, I I make a public announcement about my breakup yeah. They come all this DM this phone mm. call Apple we're so sorry for you and there are a few DM saying that you are too picky. And even worse, okay, it's a good thing. Oh. You break up with him, is it because you are fat? No You way. should polish Someone yourself, yes. And then I print screen, I sent to my best friend and said... And they said, well, you should polish yourself so yeah. that... Skinnier, on, no. that's the reason. I think that's the key thing about relationship. I feel that people need to understand that it's the self-confidence, the confidence that actually also helps to get a relationship. And Correct. also about yeah. wanting what you want. And most importantly, it's actually being who you are. What's the point of being in a relationship if you cannot be who yourself? I think that that's the thing that I learned the most from this relationship. And it's also the people yeah. around you. I think sometimes we are so love blind, right? Yes. You know how oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, that this is the kind of thing where if we, if we wake up, we actually uh, become aware of mm. when people advise mm -hmm. us as well. Correct. So it's really good. Like, even though you weren't abused physically, mm. no. I think that in a lot of relationships, we either verbal abuse, like in your case, they, you know, use a more emotionally. Yeah, abuse yes. Safe, there is, I feel. I feel like there is worse yeah, because it plays with our mind. Your mind, yes, your heart, mm. and then, you know, asking for m money and things like that I feel those are the kind of abuse relationship that I feel that you know we as women we also need to be aware of that correct that relationships you know what is important exactly you are important exactly you know? that's yeah. very important yeah. but talking to you I just having that aha moments like hey I didn't cry mm. I mean like I feel like I think I already moved on yes yeah, yeah I think on. you need to, at a point where when you move on you see that actually I matter more you, yeah. you matter correct. more your yeah. feelings matter more if yeah. they can't appreciate you, then bye-bye. Well, that is the story of my relationship. relationship. I'm not sure if there's another new chapter. Let us look we for We never know. Yeah. Man, go deep. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so the producers prepared some mm. game for us, a little game of a pickup line, mm. apparently. But let's see the scenario. Imagine you're at a rainforest <laughs> world music festival. Oh my god! And your favorite singer or song is playing on stage. Okay. Suddenly, your dream guy appeared out of nowhere. Having fun singing to the music with his group of guy friends. Guy friend. How would you approach him? Act out your best pickup line shot. Oh my god! Out of sudden, I become <laughs> blank. Okay. Okay. Rainforest. Oh my god. You know. Rainforest. Our famous festival. Here yeah, I know, right? Rainforest. Everyone has to. Total flashback. Oh, do you want me to do it first? <laughs> I don't know. Excuse me. I act as if I'm a pro, but I. Okay. Okay. What about? Um, okay, so they're dancing, yeah. they're singing, and then I'll go over to just say, I must be wearing a 3D glasses because your body is popping. Damn! Damn! Ashley! <laughs> oh my god! No! no. <laughs> what is this? Hold on. Okay, if me, I would say something like. Oh, that is so nice. Your abs is so cute. <laughs> Can I touch it? Okay. Bada ba boom pow. Oh! <laughs> no, Ben! <Venom>. Oh, <laughs> <Top> line though. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay. So we always need to remember that self-confidence in knowing your true self exactly. in everything that you do and also knowing what you want in a relationship is very important. Yes. And of course your life as well. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Apple, for You're spending welcome. your time Thank here. Thank you so much. I've learned so much from you. I and learned so much from you too. Come on. <laughs> Getting to know so more of you. Thank as well. you so much. But before we say our goodbyes, I have a surprise for you. Actually. Okay. So. Flowers, huh? Yeah, flowers. Oh, this okay. Is for you. Thank you. So thank you us, so much. Oh my God, it's thank you. Okay. And we hand sewn it by single mothers as well. Oh, that is so oh, yeah. nice. Oh, I'm really <laughs> kept this to my heart. Thank yeah. you so much. You can open it. There's also a gift inside. Nice. <laughs> that is very nice. Thank you, Bonio Top. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. But before we end, let me say this. Let's master the confidence in our skin. Because there's no better representation of beauty than someone who is not afraid to be themselves. Long live the fat life. What is your fat life again? Pretty hot and thick. Wait, mine is pretty hot and tempting. Pretty hot and tempting. Okay, we need you guys to vote. Which one's better? Pretty hot and tempting or? Pretty hot and thick. You can comment below later. <laughs> so, Thank you again for your yeah, time. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank <laughs> yeah. you so much to this amazing team. Thank you for watching the Borneo Talk Show. See you guys next time.